Hello everybody! In this video, we're going to actually learn how to put a survey inside our WordPress website. All right. So you can use this survey to find out more about what uh, your customers think about your product or your service or maybe an idea that you're advocating. All right. So uh, let's move on and let's see how it looks like in our website. So right now, you are seeing my uh, article and uh, places to learn Facebook marketing. And if I actually scroll down a little bit, okay, right after the contents of my article, you would probably see a section here that actually has a survey for my website visitors to fill up. So of course, uh, we'll basically ask for your name and your email, and then we'll start asking three essential questions here and the person can actually click on submit when they are done all right so i'll just demonstrate okay uh let's say okay this is my name all right and this is my dummy email all right so how many times do i check facebook a day all right do i have instagram profile? yes and i actually manage my facebook more often so i'll just click on submit button all right and what do you get? Okay, it will actually confirm, right? Basically, you fill up uh, your name, your email, and your answers here. All right. So in the back end, okay, what you will get is when you go into the plugin, you basically can get to see edit previously created articles, uh, uh, some answers, okay? You can actually view results of the survey as well. So you can see how long it took uh, the website visitor to answer the question and what was the email and also what the, was the time taken. And if you could click on the view button, you basically can see what was the answer that the person has provided in the survey. So uh, let's see how we can set it up in our website. All right. So right now we are actually in our dashboard. And first of all, we have to actually go into plugins, add new. All right. So in plugins, add new. All right. The plugin that we are going to look for is called Quiz and Survey Master. Okay. So after a while, you will actually see this particular icon inside your plugin page. Yeah? So what you can do is install and activate. All right, now once it's installed and activated, uh, on the left-hand side, you will actually see a new item called QSM, which is your quiz survey uh, manager. Okay, so just click on that. Okay, just click on the QSM and you will see this one. Okay, welcome to the quiz and survey master. And we're going to get started with our first survey. So just click on create new quiz and survey. All right. And in here, you basically can put in your quiz name, all right? So I'm going to put uh, just a name that I created for this purpose of the demo, which is called the Social Media News Survey. Yeah? So if I scroll down, you will see uh, there are different templates that you can use for this particular survey. So I'm doing a survey. You can actually do things like time-based quiz or simple quiz if you want to. So I'm going to just select a survey, okay? Just select survey. And I am going to just go ahead and click, click on Create Quiz, okay? So, now in your survey, you can basically start setting up things like the question, okay? Or maybe ask for contact details if you want to. Uh, maybe configure some text that appears inside your uh, survey. Uh, for example, the header, or maybe uh, even modify things like the result pages. After a person finishes your, um, you know, survey, what kind of copy that they actually see uh, on the screen? Okay, so um, I'm gonna just set up the questions first. So basically, in my survey, I'm gonna actually put in three questions. So let's first uh, set up our first question. Okay, so type your question here. All right. So how many times do you check Facebook a day? Now, on the right-hand side here, you will see the question type. Now, right here, you can actually choose 
what kind of question is this? So it could be things like file upload. It could be also things like uh, multiple response. Uh, you expect people to put a text. In my case, I expect people to put in a number. So I'll just click on number. All right. Okay. So, uh, all right. Uh, basically, I'm done with this question. Just one question and one box for a person to key in a number. That's fine. All right. Now, I can actually make this uh, mandatory as well. All survey questions must be answered. So I'm going to click on required. All right. And I'll just click on save question. Okay. So let's move on to the second question. Okay. Right. Now, after you save question, just scroll down. Okay. You will see something called create new question here. Just click on create new question. And you are right now in the second question. Okay. So I'm just going to park uh, the second question in here. All right. Okay. So do you have an Instagram profile? And in my case, this one is like a multiple choice question. So I'm just going to have expect an answer. It's either yes or no. All right. So I'll just put in the word yes here. All right. And I can add a new answer and put in an answer that says no. All right. Again, this question must be answered. So I'm going to check required and just click on save question. Okay. So after that, third question. All right. Again, create new question. Okay. And let me just put in the third question inside here. All right. So basically we have three questions set up here for this survey. All right. That's good enough. Okay. That's good enough for us to start with. So I'm going to go into contact. Okay. And in this part, you can basically ask for additional information from the people taking your survey. Now, uh, you can basically click on add new field. Okay. And it will actually have a small open answer for maybe the person's name. Okay. And I can actually label this, this uh, news for the name. All right. Okay. Whether it's required. Yes, of course. Of course, it's required. All right. So if you want one more just for emails, you can click on add new field. Okay, add new field and you go ahead and select email. All right. And you just put something like your email. All right. And it's used for email and it's required also. All right. Okay. Now, once you're done with all this, okay, it should be good enough for us to proceed with the next one. The next setting is basically a uh, text. All right. So don't forget to click on save contact details. Okay. Just save contact details and then you move on to text. All right. Now, in text here, all right, so basically, uh, I can actually put a different heading if I want to. So, uh, welcome to your quiz name. Okay, the quiz name is Social Media Agency Survey. So, uh, I can put some welcoming uh, message. Uh, please take our, all right, uh, something, something survey. Now, I can change this to a bigger header if I want to, all right, since my article is all about heading one and heading two. I'm probably going to change this into a heading two so that we can standardize a little bit of the style. All right. Now you can save text message. Okay. And you can also uh, click on uh, this one, select messages here. There's other messages inside here that you can configure, right? Okay. So you can basically things like, okay, uh, what happens when people finish answering your, uh, you know, survey question? So you can actually click on this one. All right. And you will say, okay, you will just list down the questions again, uh, what answers uh, that the users actually put in. So uh, I can basically change this as well in the result pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into results pages. All right. And in here you can see, okay, so in this corner here, all right, you will see, thanks for submitting your response. You can edit this message. Okay. I'm going to remove this one. This is obviously demo. All right. I'm going to say, thanks for submitting your response. Okay. Uh, your feedback, okay, will help us uh, come up uh, with more interesting workshops in the future. Okay. Nothing like some positive uh, reinforcement. All right. Okay. So once you're done with this, okay, you can click on the save results pages. All right. And basically, we are done setting up our survey. All right. So just go on ahead and uh, click on uh, QSM again. Okay. Let's just go back to the QSM dashboard first. All right. Okay. 
And in here, just click on Edit Previously Created Quizzes. All right, so that you can see the list of surveys and quizzes you have created uh, in the dashboard. Now, how to put this survey inside the article? Again, you have to look for something called a short code. Now, the short code for this survey is basically in this list, in here, this section here called the short code. So you can just click on this eye icon here, all right? And it will tell you, okay, you can embed this short code, all right? directly on the page so that you can get the survey on the page itself. Now, let's say if you wanted to maybe open up a new page for this survey form, you can actually click uh, insert the link to the short code instead. All right. So I'm going to use something simpler. I'm just going to actually make it appear within the article itself. So I'm going to choose the first one and bit short code. All right. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to go into post, go to off post. Okay, and look up that article that I want to put this survey form in. So I'm going to scroll down a bit and look for places to learn Facebook marketing. Great. Okay, so let's just click on edit. Okay, and after the article, all right, I'll just empty a little bit space. All right, and put in the survey short code here. All right, don't forget to click on update. Okay, just click on update. All right. And after a while, you can actually click on preview changes to see how it looks like. So just click on preview changes. Okay. And basically you can see this article uh, well presented in front of you. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you will actually see the survey here. Now, some of you might be wondering why is the name and the email pre-populated in the form? It's because currently I'm actually logged in as the administrator of this dashboard. Now, if you really want to know how it looks like on the actual uh, website with an uh, anonymous uh, website user, all right, uh, just go ahead, uh, go into your article, copy this permalink, copy the permalink, and just click on New Incognito Window. All right. Now, in Incognito Window, you just paste in the link, and it will basically show you the article, all right, uh, as if you are browsing the website anonymously. So if you scroll down a bit, okay, you will see that, okay, so your name, your email is blank, empty. And the rest of the questions are all ready for the person to answer. All right. So again, always test any forms that you have in your website. So I'm just going to put in some details just to make sure it's working here. Yeah? All right. And I click on submit. All right. So once you click on submit, uh, it will actually tell you uh, the actual response. All right. Uh, what was the details that you put in and what was the answers that you put in also uh, in the earlier uh, survey questions. OK, so again, uh, to look up this answer, the answer to this every single survey that is run on your website. OK, so let's go back to your dashboard and go back into QSM again. All right, you can actually jump straight into quizzes and surveys. Huh? Just start jump into quizzes and survey. And in here under the survey, you can basically click on view results. OK, so click on view results and you will see a list of replies. OK, uh, from uh, for your survey. Uh, just click on the view button and you will get a full view of the person's information, name, email, how much time they took to answer the survey, and what are the responses for each of the questions in your survey? All right. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, don't forget to click on subscribe and uh, click on the bell, okay? Uh, so to keep uh, informed of new upcoming videos on the channel. Until then, see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.